I definitely do not find myself rooting for good things to happen to the Illinois program <laughs> at this point. But I do. I weirdly like I respect and like brad underwood the persona right like i i got to meet him at the final four last year he came down and we were doing field the 68 a bunch of coach interviews for the entire week and he was one of the first ones that came i took a picture with him i wore an io desumu jersey for this and the intention there was kind of to troll him honestly like (laughs) he probably he probably thought i was an illinois fan but i at the time you know i was making a lot of sarcastic illinois comments and uh he was super nice like he just won me over in person we talked a little bit after and you know like i said i try to be unbiased with everything i think if i was just starting a program from scratch right now it's hard to argue that you wouldn't want brad underwood to run that program like there's a lot of comparisons where he reminds me of young tom izzo and i with that like I think Tom Izzo was the most competitive person on earth for the first decade of his career. I think he was cutthroat. He scheduled as hard as he possibly could. He went toe to toe with big names, recruits. He did everything. And he also had a little bit of delusion to him, like a little hyperbole, a little like make the headlines swagger to the way he went about his business. And that to me, like that's Brad Underwood to a T like, he makes everything look cool. He makes everything competitive. He calls his program guard you. He says there's no better development program in the country. Yeah. And like maybe 10% of that's true. But I think you've turned I wanna... one player into an NBA. Like you, you've yeah. got one NBA draft pick. You, you, you turned a, he turned a five-star into an NBA player. So not... He didn't yeah. turn South into an NBA player. And a 38th right? overall pick, right? <laughs> right. I mean, I'm just like, again, the Big Ten bias in me is looking around like, Iowa's put like five, four stars in the NBA draft in the last four years. And like, like you got to be like top five in the big 10 to even make that claim. But that's why I love Brad Underwood though, from a side is like, it's easy to make fun of as a rival fan, but God, I would love for that guy to be my coach. More than Howard or no? (sighs) No, I mean, I'm, no, good. That, that's such a you're putting me on the spot. That's such a hard thing to say. I I am curious how Juwan Howard's going to end. I'll say that. I don't think he's going to be at Michigan long. And I think there's been a lot of hiccups in the last year. Like he started out as good as he possibly could have in two seasons. And he's doing some things that I question right now. So, you know, like I said, I'll call it like it is. If this season goes rough. I'm going to be pretty vocal about it. I don't love the trajectory right now. 